6 Irpiece. The first question I wanted to ask you is sort of an icebreaker. I was wondering if there are dragons, where are the princesses? Uh, back at home, I back suppose. Back at home? Yes. So when was the last time you were in Estonia? Two days ago. Two days ago. Yesterday. No, yeah. today. Today. <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel to be away from home for such a long time while you're touring? Uh, today has been <laughs> really, really <laughs> nice. I mean, we... Uh, we uh, well, the thing is that we've been home actually for, for a week, week now. now. Okay, yeah. and because and from the Twitter, it seems that you are all, all the time you're somewhere and doing something. Yeah, we had a nice uh, break uh, before the uh, tour in the United States, which was uh, like a month, three weeks. Three, three weeks, weeks, yeah. And uh, but before that, we we did have a, a nice vacation at home vacation. And what are the things that you bring from home when you're touring? What are, what are the things that you take with you, except for instruments and all the technical things? Well, I left I left most of my stuff in the states. <laughs> so, so, or How so? Well, someone else has them now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember you were uh, <laughs> your mom was uh, yeah. robbed. Yes, but uh, mostly I think emotions. Emotions. Yes, because you know we all bring clothes and and the instruments, but apart from that, it's 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 uh, feelings. And I speaking guess. of feelings and emotions, how does it feel that the circles is out now and you can play it and people can stream and listen to it? It feels great. <laughs> uh, it feels great. <laughs> <laughs> what is so great about it? Uh, we've been waiting for that for quite a while, uh, for it to come out because yeah, the 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 songs were already in recorded, and then it took some time with all the all the work that it takes to release an album so um all of that took some time and we were waiting and impatient and um and now now it's cool it's out people can listen to it and uh we're uh, we have and uh, you can done listen to it and you can play it exactly <laughs> so does uh has any of you actually has have had to run in circles before the album and the making of album has any of you has has had to run in circles uh yes like metaphorically speaking yes, that's what I, mean. I don't like uh, jogging really or uh, <laughs> like running it's not really my thing i don't i don't get it how people do it i mean i like sports uh, that's that's nice but not uh, i don't like i don't like jogging i like swimming uh yeah but not, not jogging not jogging swimming. okay so you, you like, like jogging i like it how often jogging. do you swim and jog? Um, well, that depends. When, when on tour, then not really. When back home, then uh, as as often as, as possible. Maybe uh, twice a week or something like that. Yes, so but I don't. I do not swim in circle, though. It's cause <laughs> then, <laughs> the, then you would get the, really yeah, dizzy. Yes, <laughs> it's, it's hard to do that. I'll be really pissing someone else off. If I'm crossing the lanes, you know. <laughs> I don't. Uh, there should be like round uh, pools for that also. <laughs> but then only your you can like maybe do it in a jacuzzi. One hand will be so much stronger. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> so you have a big muscle <laughs> yes. here. But then, uh, yeah. But that's really good. Like uh, when you think of space, you don't use so much space. It's just a circle, and you just swim in a circle. It's fantastic. <laughs> How would you describe uh, the evol evolution of the band? Because the first album came out in 2009, it was The Hills Behind the Hills. How have you grown since then? What has changed in you and your music? It's, I think when Good Man Down came out, then we started thinking of the band uh, and, and seeing the band from a different perspective. Like w we had grown into a small organization because we had the band, we had the management consisting of um, a few people and then and then the tour manager and the sound guy and and the crew so we had a lot of friends and good people around us and then we had some some good 
partners in Europe, uh, one person in that country, another in this. But now it's with this record, it's grown really a lot because we have our label in, in the States. And uh, there's so many people involved in that band that we can't really count them. It's, uh, it's crazy. So from that side, we have grown um, hundreds of percents. I think. So the band could be named Everton, a, a whole lot of dragons. Yes, yes. And uh, how does it feel? Did you ever think that you would be here when you started out? Not that you would be in Riga, but that you would have all these people around you. Uh, it's good. It's a good thing that you mentioned Riga because uh, our first show abroad was here. And when we started, then I couldn't think of having a show in Riga. It's like... Uh, yet yeah, that was a dream come true for us already. So um, no, I, I I could not have imagined that back then. How about you? Well, I guess it's always hard to like visualize stuff, or or but but I'm pretty sure that we all had the dreams. So we maybe didn't really see the exact same that have happened to us same things but uh but all in all i think it's uh it's uh it's it's all of our dreams combined in a in in a weird way it's because uh, i mean i've always wanted this so i guess it's uh it's uh now it, part of it has happened and uh, i think a huge part is still yeah, there's a lot, a lot of somewhere happen. in the future. So, and we're, you know, wait and see. Yes, that is beautiful. Thank, <laughs> thank, thank you. you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what would you say are the main uh, challenges for new bands these days? Uh, Do you know any new bands out? from Estonia that you that you see growing up? I guess the main challenge is nowadays is just that there are I don't know millions of bands and uh, everyone is out there there's uh, everybody can have a, a YouTube or whatever you name it account that uh, has like uh, literally millions of songs so it's uh, it would be and would be it is hard to be seen in that all I don't know sea of songs so i guess it's uh, in my opinion that is more difficult and uh, but then again uh, i think the i think if you're good uh, if you're good like in in live situation then that is what sets apart a, a lot of uh, bands that if you can actually you can perform it yes. if you can perform what you've created then uh, i think that's a uh, that's one of the key elements nowadays, I think. So would you say it was easier for you to start out or were there any were there other types of difficulties compared to these days? Well, I don't think that it has changed like so much during the last five years. Definitely it's more bands. And w when we started out, we had only a my, what was it, MySpace? Yeah, we had MySpace. Yeah, yeah there it was, was a MySpace, MySpace. yes. So there is no MySpace anymore, basically, or maybe maybe it is, but I don't I don't know anyone who uses that really. It's uh, so you know stuff has happened, but uh, but more difficult. I don't know. I guess there are like ups and downs in in all of this. The fact that you can get out your you can get your music out to everybody in in the world, but uh, since everyone can, then it's uh, it's mm -hmm. always more difficult to notice you previously we talked about you returning to Riga and your first shows being in Riga abroad um, are there any traditions that you do now that you're in Riga are there any things that you do and the place that you visit always when you're in Riga yeah we do we I think we've always tried to go to uh, I love you bar I've heard That's, that you, you know, are often the, the first <laughs> place that we played and uh, we uh, that might happen I'm, I'm hoping that happens today as well that we have the uh, nightcaps in in I love your bar and then uh, <laughs> return to the hotel 
Okay. Yes. Okay. And uh, lastly, is there is there any food that you eat particularly when you're touring? Any food? Yeah. What do you eat when you're touring? Does um, it is it uh, different from uh, every day? Yeah. Well, the thing. Well, for example, touring in the states, it's uh, if if you have a like a, need to take some gas or or eat, then there's uh, usually uh, like four different fast food chains. So you 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 need to pick one of them, and uh, I don't think we we had so much Mexican food the previous time. So yeah. this time we did that quite a lot. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> yeah, th- I, I think that's like the healthiest choice of of of, uh, of, the, of foods, these. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you.